Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Wednesday, August 16th. I'm here to express my just total disgust with what you guys are doing. I've done in the last two weeks. That's Ken McDowell, who lives in the C section of Palm Coast, who demanded the city conduct a forensic audit. At yesterday's Palm Coast City Council business meeting, he expressed disappointment over how the issue has been handled since his initial request. How dare you prove something and then walk it back the very next week? What do you got to hide? McDowell reissued his call. Again, I'm up here demanding this city city approve a forensic audit from bottom to top and put some sunshine on this government, this city government. And it's not just about the city council. This city government has never had a forensic audit performed. Vice Mayor Ed Danko continues to support the idea of exploring the possibility of a forensic audit. We did come to a consensus. It was an attempt to walk it back last week. I think we need to keep our word, and we can ask, how much does it cost? Because cost is a factor. I don't believe we have anything to hide. What I believe is not important. It's what the public believes that matters. And in this day and age, when there is zero trust in government at every level, from both sides of the aisle, it just behooves us to move forward and keep our Pledge. Councilman Nick Klufus then sparred with Danko on the issue. Why don't we try to define what are you not satisfied with our current audits and review process? That, that sounds like you're trying to hide something, Nick, and that's oh. what the public is objecting Council to. Councilman Vice Mayor Danko? I'm just saying. The fact that you can't define what is lacking in our current audit process is the failure that establishes a forensic audit. Now if I believe have, you're trying to hide something I, when I you speak like what, that. I don't care. Oh, using Mayor, big words, Mayor, is every, that what scares you? Stop. Vice Mayor. What every, are you hiding, Nick? Hold on. Everyone will what be recognized, but no over-talking. Okay? Got it? Go ahead. My question, perhaps we should try to define what we feel is lacking in our current audit process, because a lot of this talk makes it very, very unclear that we have a state certified audit process that is mandatory and every single year gets signed off on. And I'm sure you probably received the phone call from our auditors in the same annual process most recently asking for anything that, you know, is the type of, whether we want to call it thermal imaging that is enhanced heat or whether it's smoke, but anything that is indicative of anything that would be allow us to hone down a scope, which if you cannot define a scope, you can't get a request for proposal. Like these are very simple purchasing, literally just our standardizations. And for you to accuse me of hiding something because I'm trying to establish a scope is very uh, discerning. Mayor David Alfin directed city manager Denise Bevin on the next steps. You have a consensus from the dais today to bring forward an expert that would be able to clarify the definition of a forensic audit, the scope, and then if possible, a range of expense depending on what it entails. City Manager, are you clear on those instructions? Yes, Mayor. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. During yesterday's workshop, the Flagler County School Board reached a consensus to halt its pursuit of a new superintendent. Instead, they initiated a series of actions intended to culminate in the official appointment of interim superintendent Lashaka Moore as the permanent head of the district. The transition is anticipated to take place in either September or October. The board ratified the decision at last night's meeting as a formal vote couldn't be conducted during the workshop. A Palm Coast man is arrested in connection with a road rage incident. 32-year-old Peter Sasaki Blackwell was arrested after throwing a rock at another driver during a road rage incident. The golf ball-sized rock hit the person in the face, causing minor injuries, according to Flagler County Sheriff's deputies. The person hit contacted FCSO Communications while traveling eastbound on State Road 100. He reported a man driving a Ford F-150 had thrown a rock at his car while at the intersection of State Route 100 in Old Kings Road. The rock entered the open passenger window, hit the windshield, and bounced off the dashboard before hitting the person in the face. Blackwell was arrested on charges of throwing a missile into a vehicle, criminal mischief and battery. He was transported to the Sheriff Perry Hall inmate detention facility and later released after posting a $16,500 bond. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.